Have you been trying to cut an embroidery design so that you can customize it to the colors and move things around the way you want them to be? Well, in today's video, we are going to discuss using So What Pro to cut an embroidery design. So stay tuned and we'll get right into it. To make this tutorial easier, I digitized a simple design uh, that is available on my website for free. And you can find it at www.thebabiesbooty.com. And also the link is in the description box below this video where you can go and download this design for free so that you can follow along with this tutorial. We have So What Pro open on our desktop, so let's go ahead and navigate to the design that we want to edit today. So up here in this toolbar, you will see up under File, Edit, View, Tools, right up under that is a yellow folder, and if you hover over it, it says Open. Let's click there, or you can do Control o on your keyboard if you're more comfortable with keyboard shortcuts. Now here it opens up the dialog box for opening an embroidery file. The embroidery file that I'm looking for is on my desktop. So it's important for you to know exactly where your embroidery design is that you've downloaded that you want to edit. Mine is on the desktop. So let's scroll down and it's this one here, the hoop group four by four. And let's open that up. So here is a design that I digitized and the design says we hoop as a group and that is the name of the group that I have on my website thebabiesbooty.com. We are called the hoop group. So if you would like to join you can also do that at thebabiesbooty.com. But this particular design I have it digitized where everything is one color. So it's just one color stop it will do the entire thing with one color thread without stopping well let's say we wanted the frame or the hoop to be black and we wanted the lettering to be a different color as well well in order to do that we have to split the pattern or cut the pattern whichever terminology you wish to use so let's go to our cutting toolbar you want to go to a couple of ways you can do this. You can go to edit and split pattern. That's one way to do it. Or you can come to this handy toolbar as well. And it's right here, open cutting toolbar. So we can click that as well. And notice another toolbar popped up. It's this one here. So you have several options here on this toolbar one says cut pattern but notice that it's grayed out then it says select points select colors anchor points we want a hoop guide split at stitch you have a cute little pink eraser close and then your help question mark so you can choose that to get some assistance as well but this one is pretty easy so let's go ahead and what we'll do is isolate the letters from the hoop. So I'm going to scroll up on my mouse wheel and we're going to blow this up a little bit more. And I'm actually going to cut off or turn off the live view of the stitches. Okay, so let's go to view and I'm going to turn off texture. You don't have to do this in order to cut the pattern. I'm only doing this to make it easier for us to determine where exactly our stitches are. So once this cutting toolbar is open, now what you can do is select points, which is what this is, and put points around the part of the pattern that you want to split apart or to cut out. So these are, this whole center area is what I want to break apart from the frame. So we'll put a dot here by clicking one time on our mouse and notice there's a dot. It's pretty hard to see, but it is there. 
then we're going to come over here and we're going to essentially draw a box around the area that we want to cut out. So I'm going to click over here. Now notice there's a dotted line that formed between the two points. So if I zoom in, you'll see that it's clearly between the frame and the top of the letter W. You want to be sure that you don't cut across any of your embroidery because it will split it in half. That's the whole point in this particular toolbar and the tools of cutting the pattern. So that you can click another line down here. It doesn't have to be perfect. The most important thing is we want to isolate that area. So now that I have that here, notice how close this P is to the frame. Now I'm going to zoom in and scroll down to make sure that I am not cutting through stitches. And I'm going to squeeze past that letter P and then bring that line all the way out over here and I'm going to zoom back out. So that's why I turn the texture off because sometimes the texture won't let you see just how detailed that is with those stitches and stitch points. And now that we have the uh, line there, we're going to bring it up here. And now look, our cut pattern option is lit up. So now we can cut our pattern. So I have this whole entire middle section completely separate now and let's cut the pattern. Notice we have options, remove interior, remove exterior, cut and save all, cut and save interior, or we can cancel. But I'm going to cut and save everything. So now notice I have two color stops over here in our uh, color stop section. So I have a shocking pink here, which now is just the hoop. And I have shocking pink here, which is now just the letters. So now that I'm done cutting this pattern, I'm going to click on close. So now you have two different color stops. They're the same color, but you can tell that now you can change the color of your letters. So we're going to leave the letters pink and we're going to change the frame to black. So now that we've done that, our frame is black, our letters are pink. So now I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get a little more fancy and I want hoop and I want group to be different colors from we and as a, okay? So let's go ahead and split it again to get you used to and familiar with cutting apart your pattern. So we're going to open our cutting toolbar again, which is right here, or it's alternate S on your keyboard and our toolbar opens up. Now you can't cut the pattern now because we haven't selected any areas to go ahead and cut. So let's put our first point down. There's one. There's our second point. There's our third point. And here's our fourth point. You can also bring it up and complete the box if you would like. You can leave it with just the three sides and cut pattern cut and save all and now we have hoop by itself in a completely different color I'm gonna make it evergreen just because now that we've done that close out the toolbar and there we have our word hoop completely separate so you can do the same thing with group and this also allows you to move the word around if you want it to that's how easy it is to split apart a pattern. You can make any kind of adjustment you would like simply by clicking dots around your part that you want split apart and create anything you want, move things around and change colors to your heart's content. So what pro makes it easy. If you have any further questions about so what pro or how it works, please feel free to leave them in the comments below or you can reach out via email at thebabiesbooty at gmail.com. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up. Also, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We offer helpful tutorials on a semi-regular basis on embroidery as well as Sew What Pro. We also go live on Sundays at 8 p.m. to answer any of your embroidery questions. So. I appreciate you taking the time to join us with learning how to cut apart a pattern with Sew Up Pro. And until the next time we see you, have happy embroidering.